Yeah. All righty, the 2024 election getting very crowded, at least on the Republican side, but Donald Trump still holds a total commanding lead. Let's talk about it. We've got Mark Simone, WR radio show host, and Monica Crowley, former Assistant Secretary of Treasury for Public Affairs, host of the Monica Crowley podcast. You just talked to Donald Trump on the podcast. It's better than I rated. Anyway, um, <laughs> uh, let's play a clip real quick. Um, Mike Pence declaring today in Iowa someplace. Here's what he said. My former running mate continues to insist that I had the right to overturn the election. But President Trump was wrong then. And he's wrong now. I will always believe, by God's grace, I did my duty that day. All right. Monica Crowley, is that enough for uh, Mike Pence? That is not a winning argument. Um, what all of these candidates, except for Donald Trump, don't seem to understand, or maybe they do, and they're deliberately trying to make this effort, is to bring the, the Republican Party back to pre-2015, pre-advent of Donald Trump. Donald Trump has so smashed the paradigm of what Republican and independent voters want and expect in a candidate. All of these other candidates are operating in a GOP that no longer exists. The GOP and the Republican base are America first. They are MAGA all the way. And all of these other candidates, whether they're good people, effective leaders, none of that matters. But Pence, because Donald Trump is Donald Trump and then everybody else. Pence, he is still the 800 pound gorilla. Pence qualified. Putting that aside, I don't didn't necessarily disagree with your last phrase there, but putting that aside, Mike Pence, conservative, smart guy, loyal to Trump, helpful in the administration. There's no two ways about it. He had one big disagreement about the Senate vote to ratify the election. Okay, and he's emphasizing that. Uh, we don't have time. He play, uh, he's good on the economy. The guy's basically a supply sider. He's going for the Christian vote in Iowa. But Mark Simone, it's interesting. I, I mean, I, I think Pence has a lot of assets, is what I'm saying. But he cannot break out. He's at 6 7% in every poll going back two years. He cannot break out. Why is that? I, I, I had a lot of, I hate to attack Mike Pence. He's a nice man. I watched the whole announcement. I think I dozed off twice, but uh, <laughs> he, he's not going to bother anybody. He'll be at the sixth or seventh podium away from Trump. And he's a nice guy. I, I wish him well. Nice guys finish last? Is that what you're trying yeah, to explain? Well, I think that's where the phrase comes from, Mike Pence. <laughs> Look, if Republican voters have a choice between the OG of America first, Donald Trump, and then, and then sort of like carbon copies of him, why would they go for a carbon copy when they can get the original America First fighter? They want somebody who is going to go to Washington and smash the entire corrupt status quo. Trump did it in his first four years with one hand tied behind his back because he had the Russia hoax and the entire deep state coming at him. My argument for Donald Trump is you better go for the candidate that has stared down the deep state, knows what's going to come at him, and is willing to fight back. None of these well, other candidates, and they're all talented that's leaders, my argument, but they have um, not gone up against the that, deep state. That's my, uh, my argument about fighting this. Trump is the fighter of all fighters, and people see that. And, whether, and whatever the issue is, and I think it's going to be a pocketbook election, that's what all the polls are showing, He's the guy. Uh, Mark Simone, do you think um, Chris Christie could get 40,000 unique uh, donors so he could qualify for the debate? Now, Chris Christie, I don't mind attacking. This guy is on some preposterous kamikaze mission. I don't know what he thinks he's doing. Uh, let's be honest, appearance-wise, he's not the greatest candidate. Uh, this loudmouth, Jackie Gleason, Ralph Cramden approach, yeah. it's not going to work. I don't know where he's going with this. He had not an ounce of substance in his announcement. Not an ounce of policy substance. Remarkable to me. No, and really. you, you think he's tough, but remember the um, uh, Billy Bush tape when that came out? He deserted immediately. When there was trouble, he ran from the Trump campaign. Mm -hmm. He's not tough. He left office as the least popular governor in New Jersey history, 15%, yeah. lowest ever. Terrible scandal, Bridgegate. Two of his top people went to jail. His attorney on that was Christopher Ray, by the way. Oh, my God. And I he, know. Yeah. Heard that's an incredible story. He put FBI him in his... Director. He recommended him as FBI director. Horrible track record. So why is DeSantis down by 30 or 40 points, Monica Crowley? 
Good governor. Excellent Conservative governor. guy. Smart guy. Absolutely. No economic agenda yet. Maybe he'll get one. But why do you think he's uh, so far down? Well, I mean, the most effective Republican governor we've had in decades, Ron DeSantis. But there is a huge difference between being a very effective and successful governor and running for president. And then there's something else entirely to run for president against Donald Trump. And I think all of these candidates, they found out the hard way in 2016, including Chris Christie, this current batch will find out the exact same thing. It doesn't necessarily translate on the national stage. And he's had, you know, bumpy rollout and so on. Maybe he will find his sea legs. Maybe yeah. he will mount a more substantial challenge to Donald Trump. But right now, Donald Trump has something nobody else has, which is an emotional bond with the voters. And that is absolutely unbreakable and it's insurmountable for he everybody. He has fighting else. this. I'm telling you. I mean, it's a pocketbook election. We just looked at another poll on this. And Trump is the best fighter. And everyone knows that. Yep. And he may be a bare knuckle fighter, but I think people want a bare knuckle fighter. I mean, I got to get out of this segment. I love both of you. I'm just saying, it's just interesting to me. I think if others have been, I mean, Pence has a very good supply side economic message. But he doesn't have the bare knuckle credentials that Donald Trump has. I think that's the deal. Anyway, I got to run. Mark Simone, Monica Crowley, thanks ever so much.